welcome welcome my people everywhere you are in the world today i bring a lesson of kiswahili as usual and the topic of today is the kiswahili alphabet alphabet ya kiswahili so if you want to speak a language well you can't speak it without knowing its sounds its vowels its consonants kama mtu anataka kuzungumza lugha vizuri anapaswa kujua sauti zake ilabu zake na konsonanti zake Last time we talked about greetings. So I think today if you meet someone you greet him or her in Kiswahili. Congratulate yourself if you can. Now, ikiwa mtu anahitaji kuzungumza lugha fulani ipaswavyo. Atahitaji kwanza kuijua vizuri. Na ndio maana ni muhimu kwa kila mtu ambaye anataka kujifunza lugha yoyote kuanzia kwa alfabeti zinazojenga lugha hiyo. So this is the basic language that you should have so that you can communicate well. Alphabet it is important in n language and we know it well so in alphabet you can learn vowels consonant sounds which comes from joining consonants and vowels vowels and vowels vowels and consonants consonants and consonants and so on kiswahili has it its alphabet and it has a pronunciation which is similar to different other bantu languages which means there is similarity if you just live in any country where you have some bantu languages there are similar sounds that you can use so it can't be difficult for you and everywhere i am here for a help kwa kiswahili kina ilabu tano the swahili language has five vowels so today we look at vowels only because it's a lot of things is not good you have to run steps by steps this is kiswahili for beginners now kiswahili kina ilabu tano ilabu hizo ni a e i o u i repeat a e i o u in english a of kiswahili is pronounced as pronounced as a a in kiswahili in english is e e in kiswahili in english is i o in kiswahili it is the same like o and in english u in kiswahili is u now so it is, it looks at this kind of pronunciation differ in kiswahili and in english so back to this i'm going to give you different 
examples which contains contain this kind of sounds that they have just spoken above mifano inayofuata inazungumza baadhi ya maneno ya Kiswahili ambayo yana ilabu so the first one is a in english or a in Kiswahili we can find different examples which contain those vowel for example a i can say baba baba which means father baba father in kiswahili we don't say ba 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 but we say ba it vibrates remember this it's like brought not wrought it vibrates so keep this so that you can speak with your language mifano the example i continue with examples baba so there is there is a ah, baba amani aman means peace amani peace balaka balaka which means the bless bless like blessing the second vowel is a a like in education elimu education elimu like in maelezo maelezo explanation maelezo explanations kueleza kueleza to explain kueleza to explain so i give you some examples of the sen sentences on a or a in english i can say baba anakuja baba anakuja the father is coming baba anakuja the father father is coming now balaka ni nzuri balaka ni nzuri the place is good about a i can say examples mifano elimu ina umuhimu elimu ina umuhimu so education is important the second is nipe maelezo nipe maelezo which simply means give me explanations now the third voice voa ilabu ya tatu ni e in english it's i but we say e some examples of words maneno ambayo tunayapata yenye e imani imani which means hope itikadi itikadi ideology uh, so so itikadi means ideology now we can just give some sentences which contains the words e the vowel e now i say yeye ana imani yeye ana imani it means he or she has hope another example of the sentence containing e you can say itikadi yake ni mbaya his or her ideology is bad 
we go to the next vowel which is o maneno ambayo yana ya, ya na mfano wake unapatikana ilabu ya o those, those examples of words we have somo somo mwelekeo mwelekeo kuona kuona just o not wo kuona somo means lesson mwelekeo means vision kuona zi, to see so i can get, give you some sentences containing the following vowel o tunasoma somo la kiswahili tunasoma somo la kiswahili we learn kiswahili language uh, sorry we learn kiswahili lesson yeah mwelekeo wangu ni kuongoza wengine so my vision is to read others kuona ninaona nje so i see outside i see outside so the last vowel in kiswahili language is u in english as we saw it is u u maneno kwa mfano examples of umuhimu umuhimu uhuru uhuru umuhimu is importance importance and uhuru is independence kwa mfano tunaweza kusema nchi ya Rwanda ilipata uhuru wake katika 1900 1962 so, Rwandan country got its independence in 1962 Unachotaka kujua zaidi ni nini Unachotaka kujua zaidi ni kwamba katika Kiswahili ilabu mbili zinaweza kufuatana So take care about this because in Swahili we have where two vowels are following each other. How can you speak this word which contains two vowels following each other? When you see this what you have to do, you make it long that vowel the same vowels which are followed you make it long the sound is wrong it's not short. For example I can I can say so tuna, tunaweza kupata irabu mbili ambazo zinafuatana tunazirefusha zinakuwa ndefu sana kwa kuzungumza for example when i say kuka say k u k a a k u k a a so we have two a si zungumzi kuka no is kuka zinakuwa ndefu kuka like to sit or to live somewhere we have njo double o njo come when you see two vowels followed each other same vowels by the way in kiswahili make them wrong long by sounding long not short so i can say ju ju above all on ju ju ya meza on the table ju ya meza on the table njo hapa njo njo hapa come here so when u is followed by o or a kama o u inafuatana na o ama 
are it is sounds as there is w between them ni kama kuna wa eh wa naweza kukupa mfano muonekano muonekano is not muonekano muonekano no it is muonekano like what it sounds some word there yeah. eh? but if you it is followed by i or a kama ilabu u inafuatana na ilabu i au e the pronunciation shows shows that there is why let me give you a simple example ninasema mienendo sio it is not mienendo no it is mienendo you 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 pronounce as there is why there eh it is just hidden why mienendo mie 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 yeah yeah eh mienendo so behavior it's like not mienendo mioyo not mioyo mioyo yeah hearts ninakupa moyo wangu i give you my heart tunakupa mioyo yetu we give you our hearts just mioyo uh, so i think it's about uh, kiswahili vowels this is what we can say I think you had your pen and your papers where to write. Don't hesitate to be with me. Hesitate to be with me because I bring different lessons online so that you can run Kiswahili while you are at home. So if you want to be together with me, subscribe and comment and write it for me so that I can make the lesson better because we want to run through social media through internet it's not necessary that everyone has to go to school when you have a, a, a lot of doing you have a lot of works or you do your job day in it is full you don't get time to sit down or to go to school to learn kiswahili and you wish to learn kiswahili it is your favorite language don't hesitate to come here so that you can share thoughts i'm here for you uh, i wish we could be together everywhere you are so subscribe tell your friend to subscribe here and give me what i can do better for you so that you can get what is deserved to you so much respect we will come next time to continue with alphabet ya kiswahili kwa sababu is in ilabu this is vowels we have consonants we will come next time so let's meet here i love you My name is Gaetano Sani